I believe that recommendation systems are one of the most important technologies for the next decade, if not longer. Recommendation systems influence absolutely everything that you see, hear, consume. They power 35% of Amazon's retail revenue, 75% of the content consumed on Netflix. They're the reason that you get to the end of a Spotify playlist and it can continue to play you music that you like, that you may never have heard before. I met James a couple of years before he actually started PA. He, at the time, was scaling an e-commerce tech company in Asia Pacific. He did exceptionally well with that and he was talking to me about his vision for how the internet should be and how consumers should interface with shopping. The mission of the company to personalise the whole internet was something that I felt needed to be done and I wanted to be a part of that journey. A particular audience is a personalisation company. Now what that means is uh, we want to personalise the experience that you have as you browse the internet. Whether that be from our B2B products or our B2C products, our overall mission is to create a better experience for people um, going online. We do this through three core technologies. We have collaborative filtering, which is using the behavioural data of other people on the internet to find similarities between people. And we also have attribute affinity or natural language processing, which essentially picks up similarities between the metadata of items. And then we also have our visually similar uh, AI. Visually similar AI literally picks up visual similarities between items on the internet. Personalization is important because as the web grows and more and more content and products and news are being added to the web, it's important to filter out the noise and show people what's relevant to them at a, at a specific point in time. We work with massive data sets across a range of machine learning models. It becomes increasingly important as we work with these data sets to be able to process them, ingest, and deliver them in such a form that it provides value to our end customers. Our mission is to enhance customer experience for our clients. We use several branches of machine learning and countless on-site implementations to improve customer experience and really drive um, turnover, um, increased AOV and return on investment. We have a track record of achieving upwards of 50% AOV uplift for clients dependent on implementation. Um, and over the last quarter, we've increased attributed revenue by 50% um, in aggregate. So impressive. We started life as a B2B software as a service product. That product has been insanely successful. So it allowed us to go from an office in Sydney, Australia, to expanding to an office with London, UK. We've got clients in France, Germany, the United States, New Zealand, so I've built great relationships with um, retailers in uh, New Zealand, um, Australia, uh, the Netherlands, Denmark, uh, and just recently I've um, started to build relationships with some uh, French retailers. The business development team is one of the most hard-working groups of people that I've ever come across. These guys are on the phone, they're hustling every day, and that's the sort of culture and tenacity that's required to sign and, and hold meetings with the, some of the largest retailers in the world. We've had people from Google, Ikea, Woolworths, Australia's largest retail group, all join the company to join our mission. They have tackled market acquisition, market expansion. Um, some of our hugest assets are our, you know, our CTO, our head of engineering, incredibly intelligent guys at the absolute bleeding edge of technology. The reason I would join PA today again would be the immense potential of what we're building and the vision of creating this seamless, intuitive interface for customers as well as for retailers. 